I love talking about my different fandoms and favorite video games and movies and TV shows as much as the next person, but there are things happening right now in our country that need to be talked about. It's political, it's not good news, it's things that are uncomfortable to talk about but that need to be talked about and need to be brought attention to. People need to know and stay informed of what is going on. Below in my video description there is an ever-growing list of people, social media accounts, organizations, and websites that are standing up to the hatred and violence we are seeing by our quote-unquote President Trump check out any of the links and social media accounts that I have at the bottom of my description to stay informed and to find out how you can help fight back. Just like Captain America said that it doesn't matter what the mobs or the politicians tells you. It doesn't matter if so many of them is saying something wrong is something right. And if they come to you saying that, telling you to move, it is your job to stand there and plant yourself beside the river of truth and say no you move. Hatred and ignorance and fear is not what makes our country great. Hey gamers, what's up? My name's Trey Guillotine. Welcome to my channel and this is What You Gaming On, where I ask you at the beginning of every video, what are you gaming on? If you want to tell me what game you're playing, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, leave a comment in this video or on any of my social media and your answer will be featured in an upcoming episode. We're going to go ahead and jump into what I've been gaming on. Uh, and it should be no surprise to any World of Warcraft players, new or old, whoever you are, if you've ever touched World of Warcraft before, there's a good chance that you are playing alongside me in World of Warcraft Classic. That's right, it's something we've heard about about a year ago, I think, at the last BlizzCon, and we've been waiting for, we're just waiting to jump in and play World of, Warca World of Warcraft Classic, which is the basically kind of like a legacy server kind of thing where it's pretty much... World of Warcraft, how it was when it first launched back in 2005. Which, obviously, over 15 years, WoW has gone through a lot of different changes, some good, some bad, and a lot of people have a lot of different opinions about them. Uh, personally, I actually enjoy WoW and the changes that it's overgone over the past 15 years. I think there's been a lot of quality of life changes, and there's a lot of things playing World of Warcraft now that makes me appreciate World of War, uh, or rather playing World, World of Warcraft Classic now that actually makes me appreciate World of Warcraft how it is with Battle for Azeroth. Uh, but we're gonna, I do have some notes that I do want to talk about for World of Warcraft Classic, but if, if you're in a hurry, too long, didn't listen, I'm enjoying it. I am surprisingly enjoying it. It's not that I thought I wasn't going to enjoy it. I'm just surprised that I'm, enjoy that I'm enjoying it as much as I am. So let's jump into this. So when World of Warcraft Classic was first announced, I was definitely excited, but I feel like I was excited for different reasons than anyone else. Like I said, I'm fine with how World of Warcraft is right now. I'm fine with the changes that it's undergone. There's a lot of quality of life changes, especially with things like in World of Warcraft Classic, you don't get your mount until level 40, and level 40 is definitely a huge effort you have to put in to get that mount. Uh, which, you know, lets you travel faster throughout the entire game, but in but until you get to level 40, you're literally running as slow as you can to get to places and sometimes going back and forth, and that's really frustrating, whereas in WoW now, you get your mount at level 20, or unless you have all of the heirlooms, then you get it at level 1. Um, uh, so it does make me appreciate some of the different, some of the changes that World of Warcraft Battle for Azeroth has undergone since World of Warcraft Classic. But what I was really excited about WoW Classic for was the chance to go back and play those old quests, play those old storylines, and see what the content was really like from level 1 to 60, because I didn't jump in WoW until like a couple of months before Vanilla ended and Burning Crusade, the first expansion for WoW, came in. And that was where, and it was like those two months that I kind of played around with it, and then I played around in Burning Crusade, but I never really got far because, again, the game was definitely challenging. And then I didn't really get serious about playing the game and doing dungeons and doing raids until Wrath of the Lich King. So for 
through two expansions, two, through two different parts of the game from levels 1 to 60 and then 60 to 70, I didn't really do much and it actually had me feeling a little nostalgic and going back and restoring like my oldest surviving character, my oldest character that I got past level 60 who was a blood elf paladin named Selton who I didn't make until Burning Crusade. And then I the only reason I even got him to level 60 in Wrath was so that I could unlock the Death Knight uh, hero class, which was the first hero class. And then I just never touched him again. But then I went back, I found him. I was able to restore him and move him over to my main server. Now I'm actually really excited to play him again because I always wanted a... Uh, 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 elf Paladin Blood Knight, just like I always wanted a Tarn Sunwalker, which I have that now too. Um, but I am. I'm excited to go back and replay all of those stories. But aside from that, there was a couple of things that I was worried about with WoW Classic that they weren't going to have, that they were really just going to release WoW Classic as it was back in the day. But there were some, there were, there were three things that I wanted to see in WoW Classic. One of them was that they were going to keep the updated graphics. I don't think that would have been that big of a change or affect that or change the experience of WoW Classic, of playing it as it, more or less as it was back in the day, like just having some really smooth updated graphics instead of playing a game in 2019 that definitely looks like it was made in 2005. And I mean, as much as I'm enjoying it, the game does, it. it the graphics are as good as they were, but they're still not that good. Uh, you know, but I mean, with Blizzard, everything's very stylized with their artwork, so it doesn't look that bad. But I would definitely have preferred to have updated graphics uh, for WoW Classic. The second thing I wish they would have kept is the transmog system, which is probably the feature of WoW I use the most. I don't think an hour goes by that I don't pull out my Grand Expedition Yak with the transmog vendor on it and then change something about my outfit change my weapons change whatever it's the thing that makes me able to have my character dressed and look like how i want them to now if i can only just get a mount that has both a transmog uh transmog uh transmog thing and a barber that would just be perfect uh i don't think there is one like that in the game i hope they're going to add one soon though i would absolutely buy it uh and then the third thing and i feel like this one it would definitely affect the WoW Classic experience, but I don't think it would have affected it in a bad way, and I know a lot of people disagree with me on this, but I wish they had kept the looking for group slash looking for raid system because basically the way that you go into dungeons and raids in WoW Classic, how it was back in WoW Vanilla in 2005, was you had to actually like look for other players to join up with and like spend an hour or so even more looking for other players to go into these dungeons to go dungeons go into these raids to complete them and like it took a lot of effort just getting your team together whereas now in world in world of warcraft there's just the looking for group and looking for for raid system where you literally you push a button and you're in the queue and they throw you into a group and you can go do all the content that you want and i definitely prefer that because my experience with trying to do uh, dungeons and raids with people who wasn't, it, it just wasn't a LFG pickup group uh, pug, has been very negative. Uh, I found that a lot of the P the hardcore PVEers and P uh, not PVP, but I mean PVP a little bit, but I've had more experience with PVE, the player versus environment. Um, are, it was very elitist. Uh, and I'm not saying that they were, that it was always like bullshit that they were kicking me from stuff because I wasn't leveled up. There were times where I was very much leveled up, but because of one little thing, they were like, no, get out. You suck. Uh, and you know what? Maybe that wasn't my fault because I probably did suck, but I couldn't get into the raids to get the gear I needed to, and learn the raids to not suck. It was just a very frustrating thing. And also, the community of WoW in the last two years has just become very negative. It's become very toxic. And I, I know I've mentioned this before in other videos that the just just how the community interacts with each other has been very negative. 
And because of that, the last year, I haven't wanted to play WoW as much because as much as I enjoy the gameplay of WoW, half of the World of Warcraft experience is social. You're supposed to have guilds. You're supposed to be in parties and meet people and go on quests with people. So if I'm not doing that because the people I'm supposed to quest, quest with are jerks, then I'm missing out on a huge thing that WoW has to offer. So when it was confirmed in War World of Warcraft Classic that they weren't going to have the LFG system, I was genuinely worried that it was going to be exactly like it was when I was playing where the community was very elitist, the community was just kind of being a dick. But I have to say, in just the week that WoW Classic has been out and I've seen in the in the communities now i've only been on one realm and i've only been on horde i haven't even touched alliance yet but i've only been on like the one pv uh sorry the one rp realm that everyone i've seen and talked to aside from me like one or two people have been incredibly friendly have been incredibly helpful the community is helping out everyone they're you know helping them find what they're looking for they're helping them with bags they're helping them with items like it it really is just a much better community and it feels great. And I'm kind of worried that that's not going to last. I hope it does. I, I genuinely hope that it does, but I'm worried it's not going to last. Uh, if it does last, if it does go exceed my expectations and lasts, I kind of hope that that carries over to regular WoW and that the community kind of fixes itself and is less of a negative experience. Um, but, like, it, it, it really has been a pleasant surprise. I've genuinely been enjoying WoW Classic, even when I'm running around the Barrens. Like, I got my Orc Warrior to level... He's at a level... He's at level 11 now. Uh, it, it took me a few, like, a few days of questing in just the early quest just to get to level 10, much less level 11. Uh... And I'm still in the Barrens, in the very, in the like the very beginning of the Barrens, uh, not even looking for Mancrick's wife yet. And I'm hunting Plain Striders and Zebras, and they're killing me. <laughs> like this is a quest that there's a similar quest to it in the Barrens now in the regular game. That uh, you 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 basically spend the time steamrolling them. Like there's there's no way you're gonna die from it. But now it, it's definitely like. World of Warcraft Classic is definitely World of Warcraft survival mode, but I'm enjoying the challenge. I'm a much more, I, I think I'm a much more competent player than I was in 2005. Uh, and I'm enjoying the challenge, which I was worried that I wasn't going to enjoy it. I really was. Like, I was excited to play it and play those old stories, but I was worried that the actual gameplay and the actual dungeons and all of that stuff was just going to not be an enjoyable experience for me. And so far, it really has been. Uh, World of Warcraft Classic is a pleasant surprise. Uh, Blizzard, I think, did a great job. I was actually talking about this recently with someone in that World of Warcraft Classic, you know, releasing it and also releasing it so that it's not a separate subscription, so that you're basically paying a sub subscription for World of Warcraft and then a subscription for World of Warcraft Classic, and they basically just roll it all into the $15 a month World of Warcraft subscription. I thought that was, while probably good PR for them, it was also kind of like a goodwill gesture because whether I like the changes or not, there's definitely some things Blizzard has done that hasn't been great in terms of story, in terms of how they're running Blizzard, in terms of or running their company or running the game, uh, in terms of implementing, like, basically, you know, pay-to-win kind of stuff. Or pay-to-play, play-to-win, pay-to-win kind of stuff. Um, so, yeah. So, yeah. Pl uh, World of Warcraft Classic has been a pleasant surprise. I've, I'm surprised at how much I'm enjoying it. And I'm still playing regular WoW because, I one, I've invested too much time and money into World of Warcraft to quit playing. So, uh, until the ser servers literally shut down, I'm going to be playing this game. Um... But I am still playing it because I also, I still have characters I don't want to level up. I still have characters I don't want to get to their uh, heritage armors and my, my allied races I want to level up and do all of the different things in regular WoW. But I am, you know, cutting that time and still continuing to play WoW Classic. Uh, I don't think that WoW Classic is going to kill 
regular WoW, I don't think that regular that WoW Classic is going to teeter off and die, and then it's going to go back to regular WoW. I think they're both a really good balance for each other, so that, you know, if you are someone who prefers how things were, you get to go play that game, but you still have the option to play regular WoW and have a different gaming experience, and vice versa. If you, you don't like how things were, you still like regular WoW, but you want a different experience, you can go play World of Warcraft Vanilla. I really feel like they're balancing each other out, and I hopefully that's how it's going to stay, because I, 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 I really am enjoying World of Warcraft Classic. I haven't seen a lot of negative press about it, or people who was like, no, this game sucks, uh, aside from someone who has never even played World of Warcraft uh, in any early iteration, and they're like, where do I get my heirlooms? Why can't I find where to go for the quest quest? And you're like, like you actually have to do, you actually have to work to play WoW, WoW Classic. And I'm sure there are people who are a little frustrated by that. Uh, but yeah, long story short, uh, I have thoroughly enjoyed World of Warcraft Classic. I'm looking forward to playing it more. I'm looking forward to getting one of my characters to level 60. It's probably going to be a paladin, a warrior, or a rogue. Uh, really, those are the only three classes I have a lot of interest in. I am going to give Hunter another chance. I always kind of, I've never really loved Hunters, but I always give it another chance. I'd like to be a melee hunter, so we'll see how that works out. But yeah, so far, I'm giving WoW Classic two thumbs up. It's a lot of fun. Blizzard, I think y'all did a great job with it, uh, and I'm looking forward to playing it more. Uh, but now I want to hear from you. If you are playing WoW Classic or just regular WoW, let me know in the comments on this video or on any of my social media what you like about it, what you don't like about it, and I will feature your answer in a future video. If you want to see any of my other content from videos to written reviews of movies and TV shows or just some basic blogging, you can go check out my website at www.treyguillotine.blogspot.com or on this YouTube channel, youtube.com slash tguillotine. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it around so others can join in the conversation, and subscribe to my channel so we can geek out some more. Thanks for watching. Have fun.